guys, so I already did my foundation to save time and eyebrows and I went ahead and baked a little bit. I'm actually going to put more ones and you guys have seen me do my foundation a million times. It hasn't changed. I just bake. Of course, I know that that's sometimes fun to watch, but yeah, since I'm doing a hair tutorial, I wanted to save time. So what we're going to do is take a light shade. I always use this palette right here when I'm doing 90s looks or um, supermodel looks, anything like that, because it has really great purpley tones. So it's the Dido Saturn Shape Palette. And right here, I am just going to take this shade. Oh my god. One of, <laughs> one of the eyeshadows just fell out. Cool. That's great. <laughs> Anyways, I'm taking Tethys. I think that's how you say it. And um, we are using this white bright shade. Well, it's not white white, but it's light enough so you can see the color staring out. Now this is a fairly easy look. I feel like these supermodel looks. I know Carmen Electra is like real in Playboy. She's more of an actress too. Um, but she was very iconic and in the early 2000s she was in a lot of movies and she was just like the hot girl. She was like the it girl. So I feel like the makeup was very similar like you know with Pamela Anderson. I mean Pamela Anderson kicked it up a notch when she did those smoky eyes. But like with Anna Nicole Smith, like all those it girls at the time, they all kind of did the same type of mauve look. So it's very easy to kind of go up, up on. That's why I want to include a hair tutorial so it wasn't the same as everything else. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take Hexagonal Storm, which is just a peachy color. You don't need to do this. I just want to make sure I do this to add some dimension to the eye. That's about as much as I'm going to put. This is the fun part. You want to take like, not a blending brush, but one that looks like this. And we're going to use a color called Titan. Now, if you've been on my channel for a while, you've seen me use this mauve shade multiple times. I love it. It's the perfect shade for these tutorials. Um, and we're going to take this, my curling lash curler, and we're going to kind of put it right here as a dome shape and we're really going to build that color. And based off of this picture that I'm going to insert right here, you'll see that that's the type of shape that she has in her eyes here. I chose this tutorial just because I chose this look just because it was very, you could see her makeup. And a lot of the pictures I was looking at, you couldn't really tell. How. And we're going to make sure that we have some kind of a card. This is like in my expired SeaWorld card. And we're going to kind of take the color like this. Kind of give it a slightly V shape, but not too much, just very little. Because if we keep it dome shaped, then it's going to look very 60s mod. And in the picture, it doesn't look like it's a bit 60s mod. It looks more like she has the shape like that. So just fill the color until it matches the intensity you like. We are going to be taking a darker brown here in a bit with a little bit of red undertone just to kind of grab that magenta-y looking color. And also don't forget to go back and try to make sure that white isn't lost because that's like one of the most important parts. I'm going to go into my Sunkiss eyeshadow palette by Sistars Cosmetics and I'm going to use these two shades kind of to create a darker reddish brown color and we're just going to do the same thing. Okay, so it should look like that. Her pictures were taken at night with flash, so it's gonna look a little different with my washed out lights. 
And you want to add that darker brown that I just showed you to the lower lash line, like this. Just like that. And now we're going to do some liquid eyeliner. I, If you have gel liner, use that. I don't have any. I used to and it got dried out. So just use liquid eyeliner or gel eyeliner if you have it because it's going to make it more retro. I don't know more 2000s, more 90s. But you're going to create a fat wing, but not one that extends too out. That wasn't super popular yet. So you'll see how I do it. Try to keep it around right there and give yourself a big fat line. Try to use a matte eyeliner too. That's perfect. Just like that. And then we're going to take lashes. So I am going to use these. These are number 29. I think I got these on Amazon and they're really just flary at the ends and that's what you want. So it start now with the lashes it looks pretty much identical to the picture which I'm super proud of. So we'll just make sure the glue is dry before we kind of run more eyeliner over it and then while we do wait for that let's put some bottom mascara on. So now I'm just going to contour, I'm just going to take a little bit of these two bronzers. They were heavy on the bronzer back then, so... I'm also going to take this blush, but be very careful if you use a blush that plum color. Use one of my favorite combos for MAC, which is Whirl and then Cream Sheen. Yeah, and we're going to just heavily put this darker color on the outside. Just like that, and then we'll put cream cup on. Now let's move on to the hair. I did switch up the angle just for the hair tutorial, but I am going to be using extensions because as you can see, I know that you watch, if any of you if any of you watched my vlog, you saw that I went to the salon, got it cut. <sighs> Sad day. Yeah, so I need extensions. Um and this, this is just one of those one clip weft extensions. It's already curled, but not the way I want it to be. So you'll see right now what I want to do. I've done a tutorial like on this hairstyle a few times, but I don't know if I've done it this exact way, but make sure that you put heat protectant spray. And I really like, cause when I went to the salon, I went a little darker with my hair and I really wanted to make sure before my hair color faded that I did this Carmen Electra look cause she does have darker hair and I wasn't going to do the blonde. Carmen, you know what I mean? So, yeah, just make sure that you put heat protected spray all over your hair, even on the extensions, just to make sure that they last longer. Um, okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the extensions in first because we are going to be pin curling, kind of, so. Let me make sure my chair is lower, Jesus. Okay, here we go. It's one big weft, so we don't need to go in a few times. That's why I like these so much. I you know it looks a little silly right now because my hair is not curled, but it will look better, trust me. Clearly my shorter pieces are all underneath, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pin it. And we're gonna use a big barreled wand, I mean, curling iron like this one. And 
And then when we get to the front pieces, we're gonna curl inwards. So I've done like this hairstyle a few times on my, this channel, but um, just for the purpose of this video, obviously we're going to show it again. And I'm gonna show you how I pin them in because this hairstyle wouldn't look half the way it looks without the pin. Okay, so make sure you're using gloves. I'm, I've burnt myself so many times, but I'm not trying to tell you guys to burn yourselves. So once you the curl is done, you just take it out, take one of these pins and then pin it up. And that's what's gonna give that really voluminous hairstyle. like these top pieces that we're gonna curl inwards so we're gonna grab the wand and our curling iron and then bring it towards the head instead of away from the head I just wanted to make sure that you guys know that that anything at the bottom you can have it go away from your face and then the ones that are closer to your face like your face frame your bangs area the crown make sure that it goes inwards because that's just gonna give you that volume and that kind of 90s 2000s like supermodel hair or just you know big news broadcaster hair i don't know what else how else to describe it but it's going to kind of look like that and you'll just grab the piece wrap it around your finger or one of those um, rollers and just pin it in place So we're supposed to look like this now. A few pieces kind of came out, but that's fine. Um, just let the curl set and then we'll pull out all the pins. Okay, so it should look like this. Of course, I pulled some out, but that's because I was impatient. But now once your curls are done setting, you should be able to pull out the pins and they should be more like bouncy looking. So I'm going to do that. I don't have any anywhere. I don't trust it. I put lots of pins in. Yep, there's one right here. <laughs> you just flip over the hair, make sure that it looks really big. Tease it up if you want. And then to be fun, we can add a little mole above her lip. I think it's on her right side. If it isn't, I'm sorry. <laughs> my Carmen Electra inspired makeup and hair tutorial. I did it when her hair was darker, so if it doesn't look that accurate, I'm sorry. I don't look like her. I wish I did. Those beautiful blue eyes. 
but this is the best I can do and I hope you guys like it and find inspiration from it. If there's any other person you want me to recreate, let me know. Make sure it's something kind of different, you know, like interesting that you haven't seen me done on here. But yeah, okay. Well, I will see you guys in the next tutorial.